What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video, this time covering a really popular character leak for both Season 1 and Season 2 of the character DLC for Dragon Ball Fighters. Now of course with every leak you have to ask yourself the question, what are the odds of this being true? And to do that you have to look at the context of the situation. First things first, you should look at who it is that's leaking this information, and do they have a background in leaking? For example, this leak comes to us from a person that does indeed have a background of doing leaks like this, only he has done some shady stuff where he updates his leaks when we get new information in order to make them look more legitimate, which is something that I find kind of shady and doesn't really hold much to his credibility. Add on top of that for this specific Season 2 leak, he says that a person came to him through an anonymous email and said, hey, I just got fired, but the day before they fired me, they translated Season 2's characters, and here they are. So even he says to take it with a grain of salt, and I'm going to add on to that a couple more pounds of salt, so make sure that you quell your expectations for this. But I do like looking at leaks because the community reacts to them and they say, oh, I don't want that character, or, or wow, that character would be really interesting. So I thought I'd cover it just for the discussion of it all, as there are some characters in here that I would like to see, and some characters that I would be fine not seeing. So let's start with the rest of Season 1. Those characters are Broly and Bardock, obviously, normal Goku and normal Vegeta, or base Goku and base Vegeta, Vegito Blue, Merge Zamasu, and Seventeen and Cooler. Now obviously base Goku and base Vegeta are pretty much confirmed. The word confirmed might be a bit too strong, but, but there has been assets for those characters found in the game. Obviously very rough early models for them. Vegito Blue and Merge Zamasu is also something I believe, as you know that these characters come in packs. The first three all making sense, Broly and Bardock being really fan favorite characters from North America and Japan, base Goku and base Vegeta being characters that the Japanese players really do love, and also their pair makes sense canonically. Vegito Blue and Merge Zamasu are of course the big players from the Goku Black arc, makes sense to see those. Seventeen and Cooler on the other hand, really don't have much in the way of being a sensical pair, but alone they're pretty interesting characters and I'd be happy to play as them. Season 2 on the other hand are where the character choices get a bit more out there. First off we have Tapion and Gogeta. Obviously Gogeta and Vegeta are fan favorites so I'm sure that these would sell like hotcakes, but Tapion is kind of a weird character. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's like a underground fan favorite. People really like his design and his whole ocarina and sword thing going on. And I've always been a fan of him, but I'm not sure I would need to see this guy in Dragon Ball Fighters. But I don't doubt it because they are making Tapion like a player in Xenoverse 2 from what I've seen in the trailers. So I can believe this one to some extent. After that we have Master Roshi and Videl with Great Saiyaman. This is where I start getting a bit suspicious because whenever you go on a fan site for Dragon Ball Fighters, Master Roshi and Videl with a great Saiyaman assist are always up there. So things like this always stick out to me as like they might be baiting people to buy into these. So I would definitely say that this this pair definitely makes me doubt this list. Then we have Raditz and Zarbon, which is almost like begging me into being personally invested in this. As most of you know, I do really like Raditz, and Zarbon was one of my favorite characters from the Frieza saga. And this next pair is really weird. It's Kaba and Kale with Khalifla, instead of Kefla, which I find weird if they did that. Especially if they made Kaba a character. Don't get me wrong, I love Kaba and his character, but out of the three Saiyans, he was definitely the least interesting of them all, I, I would say. Didn't really have that many moves to himself other than the Gala Gun. And that's about it for the character lineup. Obviously, Gogeta and Vegito being in the same game would be interesting. A lot of people would call them just Goku clones or another pair of Saiyans. I, I wouldn't be upset with it. I know they're big fan favorites, so obviously you gotta look out for yourself as a company. And also, a lot of fans would be happy with it. Roshi would be cool, and Videl with Great Salmon, but of course those two would be cool again. They kind of stick out to me as like, hey, we got we got them fan favorites in here. Who's gonna lie? I would play I would play Raditz so much. Raditz, Bardock, and Krillin would probably be my main team, even if they suck. And again, Kaelin Khalifa is kind of weird. I don't, I don't know why they wouldn't just go with Kefla, but maybe if they have a move that permanently transforms them into Kefla or something. That'd be alright with me. But now's where I turn it over to you guys in the comments section with two questions. One, do you think this leak has a chance of being real, or do you think it's real? And two, let's work on the assumption that it is real. Would you be happy with this list, or who would you want to see added to it? I'm going to be super interested in your answers for this one, so I'm going to be down in the comments as always. And if you like this video and channel, remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.